Hey, what's going on everyone? Carabola here. Coming at you with another five minute farms today. We're gonna start this farm off over here in the zone line of Castle Vol Keep. We are in Castle Vol Bailey's. Main things we're gonna be farming are these morbid eyes over here. I like to start this farm off over here mainly because this little room has four airmen that I can kill. First things first, you want to make sure that you have your shadows up before you begin to farm so you don't get bound for 30 seconds. Next thing up is these guys drop a nice little plethora of items. The biggest money maker being the airmen wings. Next up is airmen tears and airmen lens. If your alchemy is high enough, you can uh, use a light crystal and another item and make these airmen lens into prism powders. I'll put the description down below in the uh, comments. Airmen wings don't drop as often, but they do sell for about 10k a pop, which is one of your biggest money makers in this area. Like I said, this little area over here has four morbid eyes. They do link, so I would watch out when pulling them. Once you finish those up, one of the things that I like to do you can do the same, you cannot, it's really up to you, is I like to kill the Yagudo Conquistator, Conquistador over here, and the Lutinist. They drop Bard Scrolls, and they also drop Ninjutsu Scrolls, like Hyuton Ni, Reishon Ni, um, Dragon Foe, Mumbo. You can sell those over at the auction house, most of them going for over 10k a pop. As soon as you're done with those guys, you're going to see these Morbid Eyes over here. There's two sets down here. Take those out. I usually do this run when Zarkabard is full. Everybody's down there killing the giants for Hickory Lumber, so I like to come down here. Also, the music is really cool. This zone has some of the, uh, some of the best music in the entire game. Following up that little ramp, once you finish those two Morbid Eyes over there, there's another Lutinist and there's another Conquistador literally right here so i would take those down get another chance of getting some scrolls these guys are always here those spawn points are always conquistadors those spawn points are always lutinist so you're not gonna be gambling if you're gonna get a different yagudo or anything like that another thing you can do you can steal mithril coins from the birds or you can steal another um set of airmen tears from the airmen themselves and add up to your collection while you're farming over here. Of course, the Yogudo Lutinist and the Yogudo Conquistadors, they will also drop gill. Not very much, admittedly, but a little bit of gill is better than no gill, right? Now, as far as prices go, um, Airmen Tears are going for about 15k a stack. The Airmen Wings are going for about anywhere from 10 to 12k a stack. So, well, look at that, we got a Dragon Foe Mumbo right there. I think that's an easy, easy NK right off the bat. Another thing that you can do is, if the uh, Morbid Eyes in the main room have not spawned yet, which they usually haven't, so what I like to do is I will come right up here and there is another set of eyes right here. So as you can see, you're going to run up these little stairs on the left side coming up and find these two Morbid Eyes. And that pretty much ends the the farm by the time you kill these two this is when i drop fleet i recommend coming here with a thief sub job as it'll just speed the farming up and give you a little bit of a better chance to get a couple more things so i will drop or i will start up flea and come right around down this way all the yag birds have been killed you've already killed the four six over here on the right from this and then another two so you've killed eight morbid eyes the entire time and you've got a chance to get a couple of uh scrolls as well not too bad of a farm if i do say so myself something that you can do in your off time and add to your guild count but yeah this is pretty much the farm over here in castle ball bailey's keep we're farming morbid eyes and yogudo birds there's not much to it a good one if everything else happens to be taken up and i don't really see many people coming around here just uh be careful it is a little bit of a tougher farm if you're not paying attention these morbid eyes have some pretty nasty spells that they can trip you up with 
But other than that, thanks for checking out the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and check out some more of my videos. And I will catch you guys on the next Parabola's 5-Minute Farms. Until then, happy farming, and let's go make some money.